Hey, honey bunnies, and welcome to Honey Bunnies Read Along. So it looks like we have another good read today, honey bunnies. And today's story, you honey bunnies, we're going to read What Do You Do With a Problem? You already know who I am. I am Mrs. Kimberly K. All subscribe to the channel, honey bunnies. Now, you know what Mrs. Kimberly K needs you to do. I need you to sit down, pay attention, get those bunny ears lift way high up, open up those bunny eyes real wide, pay attention to the story, and we're going to go ahead and get started. What do you do with a problem? I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem? I thought. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallowed me up? I wanted to make it go away. I shooed it. I scowled at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes away all of my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This had to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem had an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities can only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. That was the end, honey bunnies. Now please follow along. What are problems for? They challenge us, shape us, push us, and help us to discover just how strong and brave and capable we really are. Even though we don't always want them, problems have a way of changing us in unexpected ways. So what will you do with your problem? Now that's up to you. What time is it? It's time for the bunny hop. Get on up, honey bunnies. The bunny hop, the bunny hop. Who can do the bunny hop, the bunny hop? The bunny hop you can do the bunny hop see you in the next upload honey bunnies the book is linked in the description